So this week's been a little off. Dan's been more mopey than normal. Usually he's just socially awkward and that's bad enough. Eve only comes in because Nikki does. And when she does, she just sits right there, avoiding eye contact with Dan or Sherry. Dan's the only one who's noticed and Sherry's losing her damn mind over this wedding. I am too. I hate weddings. All that fake joy and posturing and showing off. And flowers. I fucking hate flowers. Hay fever. I'm just gonna try to get through this. Have you seen her yet? I can't even get her to talk to me. Don't worry, buddy. She'll come around. What makes you so sure? Well, you know me. Ever the optimist. Huh. Look, she can't stay mad at you forever. I mean, probably she can. I mean, girls can hold a grudge longer than any two guys I've ever met. But she'll cool off. What? If you're about to say you love me, I'm gonna walk right now. It's just, I'm just surprised, that's all. Why, what about? You've never seemed too keen on me being with Eve. <laughs> that's because I forgot what you were like before you had a girlfriend. I mean, if I've gotta deal with your melancholy ass for much longer, I'm gonna take a long walk off a short pier. Or at least convince you to do it. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Just keep positive, you'll pull through. You got that off a poster. Right? Yes, I did. The puppy's pulling a dog sled or some shit. Was it convincing? Yeah. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Hey, can I talk to you for whoa. a moment? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing back here? This is for employees only, okay? Last time I checked, I'm the only one drawing a check. Which reminds me, you still owe me for the space. Okay. Sorry. Better? Much. Now, let me pour you a drink. And you tell me all about your problems. There you go. On the house. Thanks. So what's up? It's just wedding day jitters, I guess. It's probably nothing. But the groom and the minister aren't here yet. Okay, uh, when does it start? A few minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't worry about it too much. There's not a whole lot of room to change in here, and they're probably getting ready somewhere else and on their way now. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll just make sure everything here is ready. It's a good idea. Here's another one. Knock it back for nerves. Thanks, Chad. For everything. I do what I can. No, really, I... Did you just wink at me? <laughs> no. You just winked at me! Huh. Here I am, pouring my heart out to you over the bar, and you're hitting on me. I had something in my eye. Your eye, my ass. 
Look, buddy, I haven't been stood up at the altar yet, so don't get any ideas. I wouldn't dream of it. Better not. I already had all the ideas. Holy shit! There you are, bitch! I have been looking for you everywhere! The party's about to start, and I, for one, want to go inside and watch this train wreck happen while getting completely tore the fuck up on free booze. I don't think I want to go back in there. What? Why the hell not? Free booze! You know, I'm already so lit that the Wayne thing's starting to work for me again. Why not? You know what's going on in there. This is Sherry's fucking wedding. Sherry, the one that stole my fucking boyfriend, then leaves, then comes back with a fiance, all apparently to remind me that I'm a failure. Speaking of which, Dan is in there with his fucking puppy dog eyes. If I don't feel bad enough already, I just, I just don't need this shit right now. Oh, boo fucking who? Get the fuck over it. What? You heard me. So your friend stabbed you in the back once. She already tried to apologize. And don't act like you've never done anything shitty in your life either. And don't act like you don't care about her. I'm gonna tell you something that may come as a little bit of a surprise, but I've never had a friend last as long as the two of you have been together. I tend to rub people the wrong way. So, if I had a friend who stabbed me in the back, sure, I'd be pissed. I'd probably kick her ass up and down the whole block. But you know what? I'd get the fuck over it. Because I've never had that before, and I wouldn't take it for granted. I and Dan, poor fucking you. So you have a guy who cares about whether or not you're around. He's still trying to be fucking sweet to you after you told him to fuck off. That must be so difficult for you. You know what? You're harsh in my buzz. I'm gonna go back inside. Wait. Yeah? You're right. Sorry. Fucking A, I'm right. Now are you coming inside or what? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Damn right it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get shit faced. You know what? Maybe she'll get stood up. There you go, way to keep positive. When I have to be the voice of reason, you know shit has seriously gone off the rails. Uh, so when is this shindig supposed to kick off anyways? Oh, any time now. I don't know about that, buddy. I, I don't even see a minister. I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, nothing. Hey, look, it's Sherry. I'm gonna go say hi. The fuck did he do? Oh, hey, Sherry. Oh, hi, Wayne. Couldn't help but notice that Minister Jacobs isn't here yet. Yeah, he's probably on his way. Or something unfortunate could have happened to him. You know, a car accident, or a being abducted by the lizard men of Zeta Reticuli 7? What? I'm just saying, do you have a backup plan? No, Wayne, I don't. Mm -hmm. So, unless you know an ordained minister who's at the ready, we're just gonna have to wait. Well, it happens to be your lucky day. I happen to know a minister who's readily available. Oh, really? Who? No, 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 you can't be serious. <sighs> Shit. Fine. Fine. You can do the wedding. Just, just don't make it weird. Oh, thank you. This is going to be the most... Normal wedding ever. You won't regret it. Hey, I, uh, I think I saw the minister walking up. Oh, wonderful. What? He escaped? Damn it. I, I mean, hooray. You. You monster. You little heathen! You had me locked up for a week! You and your tainted wiener! Oh, don't you look so innocent! You're sinners! All of you sinners! Hey, buddy, just calm down. Would you like a drink? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You would like it if I gave it to temptation like all of you harlots! Whores, all of you! You will all be drinking from the lake of fire and rot in damnation! 
Fire, I tell you! So, fireball whiskey then? Yeah, let's do that. Here's to burning with the flock. Um, wool doesn't burn. Eat a dick. Damn it! Can I go one fucking month without having to drag somebody out of here? What the fuck was that? The minister went crazy. And passed out. Is he dead? Oh, it wasn't lethal. I'm sure he'll be fine. Well, at least it can't get any worse. Hey, I've got a letter here for Sherry McEwen. Oh, for the love of fuck! McEwen? Not now! <laughs> I'm Sherry. A message for you. What? Oh, what happened? He... He left me! That son of a bitch left me! He left? By bike messenger? That's amazing! <laughs> <clears throat> um, I realize it might be a bad time, but it is customary to tip your messenger. What? Finally! I finally get to see someone get murdered! Uh, I think I'll let it slide just this once. What the hell am I supposed to do now? <laughs> oh, you knocked it the hell off? What? <laughs> I, it just looks like she was really hurt. I don't think it's right to laugh. I told you so, bitch! <laughs> That looks rough. Oh, yeah, it's brutal. Look, Eve, I was thinking, I, I'm i sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm really sorry I've been giving you the cold shoulder lately. I just, I've had a lot to process. Yeah, I know. It wasn't right for me to be so harsh with you. I, I know you care about me and we're just trying to make things better. But don't think I'm taking all the blame here. When I tell you that I need space, you gotta give it to me next time, you, you needy SOB. <laughs> Look, Dan, I think we have something really great here, and, and I'd like to see where things go. So, I'll tell you what. If I can deal with you being a little insecure, you can deal with me being a little crazy. Okay? Deal. Good. Now, I've gotta go take care of something. <laughs> Remember? I don't hate you. I mean, I thought I did, but but after seeing you get hurt like that, I yeah yeah I thought I'd enjoy it a lot more than I did. Look, Evie, I'm really sorry for what I did. I just I know I, I know I'm I'm sorry too. So, can we be friends again? Yeah, we can. Now stop crying, bitch. You're kind of co-opting my thing. <laughs> Sounds like you've been spending too much time with Nikki. I have. And on that note, why don't you say we go back inside and get shit-faced? I'd really like that.
So am I still getting paid? Yeah, about that. Um, no. Well, another successful night. Yeah, I got a little crazy at times, but it's part of the charm of this place. Besides, who am I to judge? I'm more than a little, well, you know. Harsh attitude aside, I fucking love those guys. This place just wouldn't be the same without them. Uh, well, guess the only thing that's left to do is lock up, go home, and do it all again tomorrow. Did he just... Yeah. Yeah, he did. 